Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to catch crappie using only a bobber and a jig. But before we get into anything, only a small portion of the viewers that watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So if you enjoyed today's video, consider subscribing. It's free, you can always change your mind later. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. So this rig primarily specializes in catching crappie in shallow water anywhere from one foot all the way down to seven feet deep. However, you can also use a modified version of this rig to catch crappie in deeper water, seven feet and deeper. And if you wanna figure out how to do that, I've linked that video down in the description below. Let's talk about what you're gonna need to fish this setup. Firstly, you're gonna need a medium to light action spinning rod. This one I have here right here with me is six foot six inches and I've used it for the last few years for this rig and it works phenomenally. So this is what I would recommend for a rod. You don't need anything crazy like a 10 foot pole, just something where you can cast, which six foot six is perfect for that. And it goes without saying for crappie fishing, the reel isn't too important. I just have a Black Max spinning reel on this setup and it works just fine. Also, I forgot to mention all of the items that I'm talking about in this video will be linked down in the description below for you to go pick up because that's what you're gonna need for this setup if you don't have it already. Next up is line. Generally, I fish eight pound line, or I mean, I guess you could go down to six pound line, but I like eight pound line, and that's what I have on that setup right back there. Next thing you're gonna need is a bobber. Now, really, this doesn't matter which bobber you use, but if I were to recommend anything, it would be a weighted bobber. You can get bobbers just like the one I'm showing on screen right now that have a lead weight at the bottom of them, and if you're fishing from shore, which is whenever I usually use this method, you can really cast out far and get to those fish. Whereas just with a regular bobber, your rig is really light. And when you're throwing it through the air, it doesn't really go far. And so if the fish are out a little bit further, you want that weighted bobber so you can really cast out to the fish. The next thing you're going to need is the most important part, crappie jigs. This part varies depending on where you are in the country and what the fish in your area like. But I do have some favorite crappie jigs that I can recommend to you guys for this rig. In the top right of this video, I've linked two different videos and they're my top three favorite crappie jigs for both 2021 and 2020. It shows you six different crappie jigs with underwater footage. So if you're unsure on where to go with crappie jigs, make sure to give those videos a watch. It'll give you a better idea on what you're gonna need for this rig. So setting up this rig is actually really, really easy. All you have to do is take your bobber, run up about four, maybe five feet, depending on how deep your fish are, and you simply clip it on both ends to the line. No need for a slip cord, none of that. You literally just clip it straight on and you're ready to start fishing. And it's that simple. Once you get that set up, you're ready to go fish. You're ready to start casting and catching crappie. And also may I note, I have used this rig and caught some of the most crappie in one single day that I've ever caught in my life. Back last year, I had multiple days where my friend and I were both using this rig and catching well over 150 crappie between us for one day. So needless to say, if you can find the fish, you can use this rig and just start catching them every single cast. So the next four minutes of video are actually clips of me using this rig to catch crappie and a few surprise fish as well that I'm not gonna spoil the surprise for quite yet. So stay tuned and enjoy the fishing footage that I got from the other day. I'm getting bit out there. Oh, yep. No, it's something small. Bass. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Crappie. crappie. Beautiful crappie. That is like one of the prettiest crappie I've ever caught. Look at him. We'll bring home some to clean. This ain't big enough, but... So that means that there's not just one or two out there. There's probably a few crappie. And I took like 40 something fish out of this pond last year 40 crappie out of this pond oh 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 he had it he's still eating it he got it now this is a better one if this is a crappie this is a good fish i sure hope this is a crappie fighting kind of like a bass oh is this a crappie yes yeah, this is a crappie this is a big crappie this is a big crappie boom look at that beautiful Beautiful, beautiful crappie. This could be a 13 inch crappie right there. Good stuff. The school that I fished out last summer is right here. This is a big, if this is a crappie, this is a really big one, guys. This might be like 15 inches plus. I want to say it's a bass, but it didn't really jump when it came up. Oh, it's a bass. 
<laughs> I thought for sure it was a crappie. This is a really good bass on the crappie jig. I was about to say, if this was a crappie, that was gonna be like my record. I'm just gonna get an idea on how long he was. Just so I can have bragging rights. About 17 and a quarter inches. There he is. He's hanging out there with all those crappie. All right, cool. Another fish. I was out here looking for bass, couldn't catch him. Then I switched over to crappie and now I'm catching bass. What is this? So yeah, literally, I'm just letting it sit there and I'm not touching it and that's when I'm getting bit. Which is actually super weird because normally you want to kind of put action in your jigs. But all these fish I'm getting are just biting it. Like that, look at that, I got one. Well, got him. This is another big fish. I think I just felt a head shake. This might be a bass, again. <laughs> he just keeps running. Big old crappie, big old crappie. Get up here. Look at the mouth on him. Gonna be another 12 and a half, 13 incher. 13 inches, that's the second. 13 incher. Ooh, almost dropped the bucket in. We got one in the bucket. The only time that anybody fishes for him is in the summer. But yeah, the only time I ever fish for him out here is in the summer. Yeah, it's a bass. Well, look at that. That's the, that's the gift of all this. Fishing for crappie, but every once in a while, you'll pull up one of these bad boys. And uh, we'll take him. Which, in this minute, right now, it's not what we're looking for, but I mean, I'm never going to complain about a bass. And this weighted bobber is helping so much. Like, literally, a non-weighted bobber, I couldn't cast. You got one? Oh, my God. It's a giant bass. This is a giant bass. This is going to be bigger than my biggest one, Matthew. This is going to go almost 20 inches, probably. Oh, my. I'm telling you, it's a giant. Look at that. That's the gift you get. Nope. He ain't even that long, really. He's probably about another 19, close to 20. Right through the top of the mouth. <laughs> about three and a half pounds, close to four. <laughs> we'll take him. Not exactly what we're looking for, but I don't think I'm ever going to complain about a big bass. <laughs> So there you have it, one of the easiest ways to catch crappie when they're up shallow. Again, if you want to see how to catch crappie in deeper water with this exact same method, make sure to check out the video that I linked down in the description below where I can teach you guys how to do that too. And if you are new around here and you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe with notifications so that you don't miss any future crappie fishing videos just like this one. And if you learned something new, make sure to like and share this with a few friends so that next time you're out in the water, you can all be catching a ton of crappie. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next episode of Fishing with James.